How's everybody doing? Uh, welcome back to Styrene Relics. I've got uh, got a couple of Christmas presents I want to show, and uh, I want to do my entry for the uh, psychedelic group build that Dan Demand's putting on. So this will be the second year for that, and uh, had a blast doing it last year, and I definitely want to try it again this year. So, real quick and sweet, uh, ended up getting another one of these trucks. Uh, I just like them. They're chuck full of really cool customizing stuff. And uh, so, I don't know, this is about my fifth or sixth one, I think. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm counting bag kits that I, I acquired of this, this kit. So, yeah, good little kit. If you guys... Uh, like doing uh, customs and stuff. It also has some hot rod stuff in it too, but yeah, not a lot of it, but custom mostly. And I ended up getting a pepper shaker. Uh, definitely want to do a gasser with this, but every time I open up the box, I see all that custom stuff in there for making a nice lead sled. So I may end up having to get two of them <laughs> so because it's got a lot of really nice stuff in it and there's no need going through it because i'm sure all you guys have seen it but it's a good kit so i'm probably gonna end up with another one of those as well and another one i got this one over at hobby lobby as well i opened it up already uh i've got some plans for this uh this is going to be a, uh, uh an early 60s custom uh, truck is what I'm looking for. Uh, I got a couple of plans going for it already in my head. So yeah, this is this one's going to be fun. Don't know when I'm going to do it, but um, I, I, I'm writing everything down, sticking it in the box, so that way when I do forget about it, I'll remember it. It's a good way to do it. So my uh, that's it as far as Christmas stuff. My psychedelic group build for the year coming up. Well, here in the next day, I guess, day or two, I'm going to do this one. Um, my older brother had a 66, uh, 396 Super Sport, and uh, so I want to do this. And uh, it's uh, it's not the, the new kit, it's it's the old kit, but it's, it's all there. See, it's all still on the trees, clear plastic, all the chrome still there, everything's still on the trees. So, yeah, in order to be a good, fun build, I think, um, thinking it's pretty much going to be a box stock build, but there's a couple things I'm going to change up on it. Uh, I want to obviously have to keep it street legal that's one of the rules and i don't want to use the side pipes i'm not a side pipe person on this particular car so i may change the exhaust out on it and uh not sure about the hood just yet uh, i know it's a tilt front end and i don't have a problem with that because you know there was guys running tilt front ends on the street, but the snorkel scoop, I don't know, I'm leaning towards changing that up. Maybe put a flat hood on it. Uh, maybe a flat hood with a opening hole and a couple of carbs coming through. But I, I don't see it with, uh, with the snorkel. It may, but I, I don't see it right now. So I know this comes with, uh, wheelie bars uh, those will not be getting used oh and what will be getting used the big fatties that come in on that uh, 66 pro street i'm going to try and use these uh, street tread ones so it'll be like a street freak you know uh, it'll be setting up high all around hopefully at least in the back um they'll be they'll be sticking out just a little bit uh it looks like and i may even 
No, I started to say I may even open up the wheel well a little bit, but I don't think so. So that's the plan with that. Um, so yeah, it's going to be my psychedelic group build. And uh, appreciate you guys stopping by. Got to get this thing started in another day. So haven't picked out a color yet, but I've kind of got an idea. Can't decide if I want to use the flames or not, but they are really cool flames. So we'll see how that pans out. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. I'll talk at you later. Bye.